What a wild turn of events in the Africa Cup of Nations 2021 qualifying. The Ivory Coast, the team you would expect to be, you know, absolutely dominating in their group, consisting of Madagascar, Ethiopia, and Niger. Uh, they are, they took a defeat today to a insanely counter-attackingly, I guess, I, I, I don't know what the, the adjectives I'm trying to use for this, but the counter-attacking led Ethiopia squad led by Shimonis Bekele. Uh, I mean, Bekele is, is, is unbelievable. It's actually, both goals in the first half, actually all three goals in this game in the first half, because Serge Aurier, who plays center back actually for the uh, Ivory Coast squad, he uh, doesn't really get to... Um, Roam out at right back as much. He's actually he's a very very good defender. Uh, but Serge Aurier uh, was the only goal scorer for Ivory Coast, which is really it, guys that still blows my mind. They have uh, Wilfred Zaha, Maxwell Corne, Nicholas Pepe. Like this is a team that is Ma Max Gradle too. This is a team that is stacked with so much attacking talent. Yet they could not find their way through Ethiopia of of all teams, and that sort of blows my mind how surprising it is. But at the same time, guys. Unbelievable. Um, actually, with, with the, the note of Serge Aurier, it's actually Mauricio Pochettino. I think the news just dropped that he's being fired by, by Tottenham. So it's very, very sort of chaotic right now in the world of football. We have international games going on. We have so much drama going on. Uh, but Ethiopia, guys, uh, getting two goals. Uh, Dagnashu getting the first one. I think it was like the 16th or 15th minute off a beautiful cross. Uh, and then Bekele, uh, Shimalis Bekele, getting a beautiful strike in the 25th minute to give Ethiopia a big three points and now that's the big thing is that they in the first contest uh, had a really really tough draw against Madagascar uh, Madagascar getting the victory in that contest so you'd expect with them facing Ivory Coast and Madagascar in the same sort of opening games of the AFCON 2021 qualifying that Ethiopia were probably looking at you know a, a easy zero points that you'd think that you know I thought Ivory Coast for sure was going to be able to get a win off of this. Uh, they played Niger in the first game, and they they dominated in that contest, uh, won handily. So that put them at three points, and Madagascar as well, uh, which is a very, very surprising country to be good at football, I think, considering they're an island nation in itself. Uh, but they were absolutely wonderful. They won their first contest. Uh, they beat Niger as well today. Uh, but, yeah, and then the Ivory Coast going to this game against Ethiopia, and Ethiopia pull it out of the bag. And so I'm, I'm very, very surprised uh, with that contest and sort of with this final result. Now, obviously, uh, there's still going to be a lot more games coming from this group. There's a lot more games in AFCON 2021 qualifying in general. I don't know if they will go from this and then to like a next qualification round where uh, despite you know like these qualifiers staying in these groups uh, where they'll instead you know go to like a different set of groups so like bring the field down a bit because there are a lot of groups and a lot of games to cover uh, for AFCON 2021 qualifying so I don't know if there's considering the tournament is now what is it two two years away uh, I don't know if they're gonna like dwindle it down uh, but also with that being said the Tokyo 2020 Olympics the AFCON uh, U23 championships are going on at the moment uh, with uh, you know Egypt doing really well in that South Africa is actually doing really well uh, so these are countries prospectively uh, who could end up you know representing Africa at the 2020 Olympics so that'll be really surprising uh, to see a which countries qualify for that and B uh, which players from the senior squads end up going down to the U23s because I think you're allowed three or four uh, players from you know from the senior squad. I think I think it's you have to be under the age of 25 to still be able to play at the U23 version of the tournament. But with the Olympics there, uh, it's an absolute madness to see what teams will end up doing what. So uh, yeah, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts down in the comments below uh, on the Ethiopia Ivory Coast contest. Uh, Bekele and Dagnachu getting the two goals uh, and Serge Aurier getting the one and only for the Ivory Coast. I right, guys, that still blows my mind how. Maxwell Corne, Maisha, Pepe, uh, Max Gradle, uh, and Serge Ori. I mean, this team is so, so much more talented than Ethiopia. But Ethiopia pulled it out of the bag. And I give full props to them for being able to do so. Uh, but, yeah, that's a really, really great win for them. But, yeah, yeah, obviously, you guys got to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on Ethiopia versus the Ivory Coast. Uh, the Cote... Cote de Ivoire? Is that, I don't know how to speak French. I don't know why I tried to butcher that. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.